All right, we lost Katie totally. I don't know. We couldn't fix it. So here we are again, <laughs> Friday night, October 8th. Um, supposed to be 7.30 p.m. Central, but we're a little bit late. Hopefully we can get um, the technical difficulties figured out tonight and then be um, she'll come back, I hope. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and work. <laughs> work on this and uh, keep my eyes peeled for Katie if she can come in if you guys fi figure anything out on your end and can give her any help or tips or anything like that um, please reach out to her because I know we were so looking forward to this tonight oh, anyways with that said I am going to be redoing this skull that I did last year um, for um, the Day of the Dead. It's a sugar skull and um, so I'm rethinking the idea and I'm working from this. Yeah, okay. So Julie's saying she didn't see what the problem was. We can't see it here but on Katie's phone where she re looks through her camera or looks through the phone to view what she's working on. She can't see because it's got her camera side blocked off and all she can see on her phone is me and then the blocked side of her camera. So imagine seeing black and then me. So for some reason it's swapped. I don't know how to fix that or whatnot. Anyways, we tried going in, having her come back in twice and restarting and uh, we didn't fix it. So not sure. Okay, so I started with a black silhouette, which is this. I just traced around it. I did post a little video, so hopefully some of you got to see that. Um, if you have some chalk, if you don't have, this is white tracing paper, carbon, or it's either carbon or graphite. I think it's just a wax, actually. Um, Julie, she has had the issue before. We've had it before, yes. Um, anyways, this is just like the black, but it's just the wax part of it with no color. So, um, I'm going to use that to transfer the details onto the black here. If you don't have this paper, you can just take chalk, um, like a, a light color or a sidewalk chalk. Um, this is a chalk pastel and color the whole back of your image like so and then blow off the dust away from yourself and away from others um, make sure the dust is all off of there but don't touch it and then you just flip it over and put it back on and the way I did that is I made some marks out here so that I'll be able to line it up exactly where it was so I can have the uh, transfer to be good there. But I'm going to use this other one so you can see what that looks like also. So what I'm going to do here is cut around the um, image. Where did my scissors go? Go there. Let's see here. So just really quickly cutting and you can reuse these papers over and over and over so try not to be wasteful because they're you know they're not expensive but it's still your footprint matters right right all right let's see here if I can I'm going to put this back, line it up with my marks. And I think we're good. All right, I'm going to taper down. Hi, Matt. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I feel terrible, though. Katie says it's something I have set in a setting. She's sending me a message, but I don't have any settings. 
Uh, anybody got any ideas there? Hang on, let me check her message. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to ask her how I can fix it. Um, I wish she'd come on here and type in the... <laughs> Hmm. All right, I'm going to keep. So what I'm going to do is transfer the details that I want to work with. So I want this flower. Wand button. <laughs> you could switch it. How funny is that? Okay. So I'm adding, like I said, back the details that I want to see. I'm not going to use that heart because I'm going to be using bom, 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 these from the Dollar Tree. And I'll hopefully be setting that into um, the resin layer. I don't see, I don't see her anymore. Bummer. So who all is painting tonight? Are you guys doing um, any sugar skulls? I know some of you were doing the one Katie has. So I'll ask you guys, since I'm not too far into this, do you want to reschedule and I'll go figure out what's wrong and try to fix it? And if for some reason me and Katie can't do the uh, collabs or the duos, we'll figure that out. But um, we can do the Sugar Skull another night or so, I don't know. What do you guys think? Hey, Katie, I see you're on. Um, I saw that you said it was in my settings. I pushed on the little, the, um, wand. I don't have any option to, I pressed every button there was. If anybody knows the setting, I can, I'll change it. I just don't know what it is. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> Katie said that um, if you're on Katie, what it you said it was a setting in my uh, on my side of the the live, like I have to change the setting. You know, that's not a bad idea. Hey, Katie, if you can hear me, maybe you can go live and do your skull um, tomorrow night or on a night that you can do it. And then we will definitely get this figured out.
I don't see her anymore. Do you guys see her? Is she on? Yeah, I think it's kind of upsetting, so it's frustrating for us guys when we have these difficulties every time we come on, but we don't have another option, not really, to bring all of you with us and go live together. We're limited to a few people, so with a good connection, you know, if we want to have a good clear picture. So I'm still grabbing the details that I want to paint on my image. So on these, I'm going to be using rhinestones for these little diamonds here. I, hope I, I don't know if I got all of these details here. So when you're doing this, make sure that you, um, when you lift up your image, that you do it kind of like I say with the foil, go slow so that you don't lose your position if you need to lay it back down and finish transferring a piece of it, you know? All right. I'm not too much caring for these two um, and the heart. I'm doing something different. So I think, I think we're good here. Let me lift this up and see what we did. Now, it's not going to be a nice bright white transfer. It's going to be very um, light to see, just enough to be able to transfer it. Ooh, you guys don't see nothing, do you? <laughs> I can see it. And I'll show Oops, I forgot half the teeth. Oh, darn it. See? <laughs> okay, let me show you. Can you see? <laughs> I missed half the top teeth. <laughs> and I took it all the way off. So, thankfully, I have these wonderful marks here that I put on my rock. And I'll probably still not have it all centered the right way, so he'll have some funky teeth. Maybe he'll need some braces. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, he got in a bar fight. <laughs> Anybody want to go grab her to at least watch? Maybe she can talk me through the setting thing or... Yep, they're off, but that's okay. So he's got an overlapping tooth. We'll make it a gold tooth. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh boy. Okay, so it's going to be one of those nights. <laughs> well, if you're watching this later, Miss Katie, we miss you. Okay, so I'm going to start with gold. And this is a combination of... Um, Treasure Gold 3081E and Platinum 3085 by Folk Art. And these are the two ounce sizes. I mix about 50-50 to get this. And this is very much like Mayan. 
I left that in the lid. That was Mayan gold, and then that is what I mixed. So I think it's pretty close. And I'm going to use. Hang on. go. I'm going to use liner brush, um, a nail art detail, and then I may or may not change during the lining. Let's see. Yes, Julie, if you can. I'm just cleaning my brush. It had something in it. All right, so I'm just going to start here. So I've been seeing a lot of sugar skulls. They are fun, aren't they? I like um I like them because you can just bling all you want, you know, just keep going and it's never too much. You could put rhinestones on the whole entire thing and it would be totally amazing, right? Is the season very true? Hi, Jana. Hi, Ellie. Let me see who else is on. Lydia, Lori, Bambi, Sherry, Jennifer. Hey, everyone. So sorry about the disappointing developments of the beginning here. Hi, Sherry. Hey, Joan. Okay, let's see. And I'm going to do... Let's just line everything. Why not? I'm trying to find my picture. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and line right on the outside of my skull. All right, guys, help me be funny without my sidekick. I'm kind of boring. <laughs> we don't have each other to dig on. Line all of it. I'm going to. I'm going to line every bit of it. Maybe. Maybe. Thank you, Allison. You know, on these long, long tutorials, it's hard to think of things to say. 
That's why collabing is so very nice. Aaron's asking how long a drive it is for me and Katie to each other's house. It's about 40 miles or 40 minutes. Um, actually, I don't know the exact miles. But um, it's not too bad. We have um, like a country highway that kind of goes almost directly from one place to the other. It's really neat. It avoids the big I-35 that's always under construction. And then so it just... We're kind of like in a, a triangle, like if this is Austin here and this is San Marcos, here's Seguin over here. So she lives in San Marcos and I live in Seguin and Austin's over here. So, and then if you want to put, make it a square, San Antonio is way over here, not way, like Austin, San Antonio are what, about an hour, a little over an hour from each other and I'm about half hour from San Antonio and she's about a half hour from Austin so well she's not even a half hour but she kind of lives in a city that's right on the in a suburb of Austin thank you Deb <laughs> it's the brushes I love these little tiny nail detail brushes. <laughs> they are nice. Actually, I'm going to change now because I need a thinner brush. And this one is for thicker lines. So I'm going to change my brush. Always save your tops too. These are super important to keep the shape on your brushes. So I have some exciting news, though it's going to probably be short-lived here. Let me find them. These three brushes I'll be carrying in my Etsy shop, and I know they're going to be sold out <laughs> probably on the first day, so I'm already putting in a second order. But I have ten sets of these coming for you guys, and um, I'm really digging these brushes. So they have like a really thin, and then a th like the one I was just using, the thicker one, and then a micro detail brush. Really nice. So I'm going to use the really thin one. And I've been using these for, I don't know, a while. A couple months now, I think, you guys. I've been showing these. I These are available on Amazon, too, if you don't want to wait. So I think I linked them. Or no, I linked the other ones because I thought I was going to end up using those exclusively And then we got a leaf here. We're going to be foiling. This is a leaf here. And this is actually the and there's a leaf. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
fun. Oh, you like the river walk, Julie? It's totally neat, isn't it? San Antonio has a beautiful river walk. I'm going to be accenting <laughs> all of these gold lines with purple lines. I know you guys are going to, this is going to be a long one. Maybe I'll break it into two. Oops. Thank you, Marie. Let's see. I think I'm going to hold, let me... First of all, let's pick which one of these we want. Me. Then I can put it there and work around it so I can see how much of this I want to put in there. So these are from the Dollar Tree and these were sent to me. <laughs> and forgive me, I've had several people send me stuff from the Dollar Tree. I think it was either Lori or Sally that sent the crosses. But they have, um, some Dollar Trees, not many, have these type of stickers. There's some keys, or there's some just random. But anyways, I think this is gorgeous. Um, and I'm actually going to be doing kind of a big one. <laughs> if you look here on my, the one from before, it's quite large. So it's going to take up this area here. And I'm going to cut so that I can lay this in there. But I'm thinking like a rather big one. Like that one. I think that one. Hang on. I'll show you guys so you can kind of see what I'm seeing here. Way cool, huh? Um, yes, please. <laughs> so what I can do now is make a little line around this so I know where to bring my details up to. So I'm just leaving the plastic backing on so that I can sit it on my rock without it sticking. Okay. Kind of lay it down where I want it. I'm going to use a pencil if I can find it. <laughs> Except for now it's covering up his nose. It's got to go up here. There we go. Okay, so these are the edges of it. <laughs> yeah, isn't that cool? Leave it up there. It doesn't really matter if we go over into the cross, we can just lay it right on top of there.
and then when um, we get this all done we're gonna be like I said doing foil the foil is gonna be pretty cool we're gonna be doing the entire black area with this really pretty hi Nisi Julie and Sherry howdy so these I wanted to use this one but I don't have enough of it I don't think for the whole thing but yeah I mean I think I'm gonna go with this one pick one out so you can kind of see and this is sort of like an antique gold um, muted gold color but when it's over the black it's so pretty Aw, thanks guys. Man, if anybody's got her phone number, go call her and tell her to come back and talk to us. <laughs> we lost Katie. Okay. Thanks, Julie. I hope so, Jennifer. I hope she pops in. So the teeth I'm going to use, if I have one, I'm not sure. Do I do? I do. I do. Liquid pearls. We're going to make those pearly whites and one gold tooth. You know, when I did this last year, it was on a river rock, and I love river rocks. There's nothing wrong with them, but for tutorials, Santorini's are 
really great because they're smooth and you can go a lot faster. But last year on that river rock, I tell you, it was hard doing all this because it was bumpy, the one I was working on. As you can see in the picture, um, I'll bring it back so you can see it. My printout, my my um, printer is running out of ink, so it's kind of not good. But see how bumpy my rock was? <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Thanks, Bambi. And if you guys didn't, if you just are coming on, the gold is, of course I made the gold. I didn't make the paint, but I mixed these two. It's a um, platinum 3085 and 3180E gold by Treasure Gold. Book art. It's the real thick series, and this makes a color that's just like Mayan gold in their series. So I just feel like I don't need to buy it if I can make it, right? Right. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Let me see here. Got to work upside down. I really, really, thank you, Jennifer. I really like doing this um, sugar skull. It is different, you know. Most traditional ones are, they're always white, which I love. Don't take, don't get me wrong. I, I love to do that one too, but I just wanted to do a different one. What did I do here? Uh huh. Mine looks 3D. Oh, it's because of the thick. I'm using this thick. See this paint? Come on, paint. Focus. See how thick this is? Look. It's like thick, thick, thick. But I love to line with that because it does give it that 3D look, that raised look. And I do that because it helps me with my foil. <laughs> See how thick it is? Yeah. It helps me keep the foil glue where I want it. So I always use thick liner when I can, especially on things like this because we're foiling the whole thing. <laughs> I 
lots and lots and lots of foil. Oh, I messed that up right there too. That's okay. Watch this. Boom. Now it's not messed up anymore. <laughs> Happy little accidents, right? Besides, they are sisters, not twins. Kind of like eyebrows. Okay. Half of my problem is I can't see what I'm doing here. Can you guys see? I believe I missed that one over here. I sure did miss painting. It's been a little while since I got to paint. Sorry I've been absent. <laughs> Aw, thank you. That's so sweet. See if I can turn this around so I don't get my hand in the camera view.
Also, the black base that we started with, I don't think I talked about it, um, is Dollar Rowney ink. And I know I've been using it a lot lately and talking about it, and I'm loving it. So, if it's not broken, don't fix it, <laughs> right? That is this. It dries fast, it's thin, it's workable, it's dark, one coat, and done. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think I missed a leaf here on the end. So. It's like a puzzle sometimes trying to figure out what you traced. <laughs> like, what? what is that? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. My husband, we got a letter from, he just retired, so Social Security, whatever. Anyways, in the letter, in the first part of it, it reads something like the, um, not the defendant, but the benefit person getting the benefits must notify <laughs> this is hilarious uh notify we must be notified 30 days before the 30 days before death i'm not kidding you 30 days before the 30 days before you die <laughs> we read it over and over and over and it was worded just about almost exactly like that so can you please tell me how we a can guess our death date and then oh it says benefits will be discontinued 30 days before the 30 days 30 days before the date of death 30 days before that <laughs> it's insane Oh no, it's hilarious. That's what that is. But you know, they got to be informed, so. <laughs> yes, they'd be tripping. I bet you they got the psychic hotline hooked up right next to their, you know, they send out that letter and then they're like, they also send out the 1-900. Uh, psychic number at the same time, right? <laughs> All right, I changed this. Yeah, they're sisters, not twins. <laughs> no judging.
<laughs> Nisi, me too. <laughs> that's why we that's why we get along so great. We're impacting each other. <laughs> yep there's a bunch of us yay no I don't have good eyes Nisi to see all these lines I got a light over here shining on it so <laughs> see all you gotta do is change the view see the nose see now you can see it too see my lines <laughs> It's a pretty cool trick with that paper, though, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry, I got a boo-boo. I always got a boo-boo. Do you guys notice? No band-aids. <laughs> but they're going to go on in a minute, so I always got to cover up, make sure, just in case there's any leaks in my glove, that none touches me. Because as much as I love foil, it hates me back. Okay, all right, nose, here we go. That wasn't too hard. So, for the teeth, I wonder, should I just... I guess I'll line it really with little bitty lines. And then we'll do the liquid pearls next because it's going to take them a while to dry. And one of these is going to be a gold tooth, so I think we'll make it this great big one that I messed up. <laughs> I think I'll make this one bigger. And don't worry about that inside the tooth part because it's going to be covered. Actually, this will be our gold tooth. How about that? I don't like that. It's, it's too thick. Hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna 
take some of this off and do it different. We'll do it with the liquid pearls and gold. How about that? So that one was too much. Ooh, that's a good idea, Allison. I like that. Allison says a nice red, blood red gem would be pretty on the tooth. Or nice on the tooth. I'm putting words in your mouth. I mean, <laughs> but that's fantastic. I love it. Yes. So what should we name our skull here? And then let's make up a story. So this skull was, what was his occupation? I'm assuming it's a man. I don't know. Uh, okay. Occupation. Was he married? Did he have kids? And what was his cause of death? We know he had a gold tooth, so maybe he was a pirate. Go. Hi, Letitia. Voodoo queen or king. Like it. <laughs> Hang on, guys. I got to get a sip of my drink here, which is just cherry Pepsi. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's already been an hour. Okay. All right. Let's stop there. I think we're done anyways. Do you guys see any big spots that I missed? So the cross is going here, just so we can get a visual. Like so, isn't it great? Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so good. I'm going to close this for a while because it's getting gooey. And... So in the middle of the eyes, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the teeth in just a second. In the middle of the eyes, we have to think of something for flowers. You know, I have all of the, oh, I just found chocolate. Hold on, I'm distracted for a minute. <laughs> if it sparkles or if it's chocolate, it's, oh, yeah, uh-huh, in the mouth. Okay. Your vibe attracts your tribe. Oh, my God, that's the best one I've ever, ever gotten. You guys are my tribe for sure. 
<laughs> Definitely, I'm a squirrel, <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> okay, back to business. I'm going to talk with my mouth full of chocolate. Pearly whites. So, question. Do we want our, our dude to have white teeth or yellow teeth? <laughs> Probably white with gold, right? Definitely. <laughs> Me see. <laughs> mm hmm Oh girl. You are something. <laughs> oh my god, this is the best teeth ever. Holy moly. It's totally 3D. Look at that. I'm so excited about this. Hopefully it doesn't take a whole bottle. Because I don't have any more white. <laughs> And these are liquid pearls. I did not, uh, Julie, I don't have, I didn't give you a link for these. This was a last minute decision. So you can pop a link in there for the white. Kind of hard to. They're kind of blobbing together over there. Let me see. Okay, important to not let them touch because they just kind of, even though they keep their height, they still kind of run together. And we get a toothpick. <clears throat> Smart girl you are. Okay, I'm going to change the way I'm doing this. So I'm going to put it in there and then I'm going to use a dotting tool to move it around. And take Nisi's advice and to steal some from these to do these because they don't need to be that tall. If you don't have liquid pearls, last year I did this with pearl, I think it's, I don't know if it's called pearl white, but it's a white, you know, the metallic white paint. Oh, uh, let's see. Let me grab it.
It is pearl white. <laughs> by Folk Art, again. Thanks, Lonnie. No, Bambi, they don't dry quickly. <laughs> the liquid pearls take a long time to dry. But they maintain their height, which is why they're very popular they stay tall so these will probably still be wet tomorrow <laughs> so we will not be resining this bad boy tonight I'll be touching up the gold too around the teeth. They look kind of weird in the camera, like really bumpy, but they're not so bumpy from this side. Hmm. Okay, cool. Maybe that's a good idea, Deb. Yeah, that's a great idea Deb had. She said to save the foiling and the resin for when Katie does hers. Since we're already in an hour on here, I still have to do some purple lining too. So I, I knew this was going to be a long one.
Okay, I wasn't watching. I lost where we went with the, um, our pirate, or our, our dude's life. <laughs> did we even, did we go anywhere with that? Alright, I'm going to put this down or I'm going to be here doing this all day, all night, and all day, tomorrow. Scully Poo and wife Scalina. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Um, yep, I have two lights. This one is an 82 watt by Fingart. Fingart. F-I-N-G-A-R-T. And it has this little thing. I'm not, I mean the light works great, but it's shallow. It's not, you know, it's, I don't like that about it. It's wide, but low. And then I have an 84 watt Beatles. And I love it. However... The company, <laughs> I love Beatles products, but the company, I had one go bad with one of my, our members, I sent her a, a gift, a Beatles light, and it wasn't working, so I went to return and they would not allow the return, the company, so Amazon stepped in and helped me, but I was really upset with that. Now, they've done returns on all of their UV, like, polishes and stuff like that, but it came to the light. They would not take it back, so bad on them, right? However, I still do recommend their other products because some of them you can't beat, but. All right, I'm going to do this one. Gold tooth here. I believe this is bronze. Unfortunately, mine don't have names. They were part of a set that sweet Katie gave me and they, they didn't come with names on them so oh my gosh this is awesome I think it's brass or something it's called so we're gonna do a brass tooth <laughs> I have it well it's kind of a pewter color but I think I like this color better I love this big old gold thing. Ew, I think I love Allison's idea about the gold or the red gem. I'm going to find one. I don't think I have one big though. I don't know how to get rid of that bump. That big old tooth. <laughs> Dr. B. Oh my God, I can't even breathe. Nisi. Okay, I'm going to say it. <clears throat> Dr. Biffy McBoner. <laughs> you stud muffin. <laughs> <laughs> wow mm -hmm. that's my girl <laughs> okay so I don't know if you guys can see these spots here see the triangles and I missed one there <laughs> wow I'm so good here and I'm so terrible at freehanding so so terrible okay Anyways, those are going to be rhinestones also, but that goes in the resin layer, so I do need to paint that on there though real quick or I will lose my marks real quick. Oh my gosh, now I can't even line it all. I'm just totally still stuck on the Biffy McBoner. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
This is turning into a huge old not good thing here. <laughs> He's single with the pimp tooth. <laughs> oh my god, I messed this up. <laughs> I gotta change brushes. Okay. Come to me, brush. Jump out. There you are. Mm. Too big. <laughs> okay, so my triangles are out of wonk. They're wonky. My diamonds. Hmm. They're like his teeth, okay? They're crooked. I have to fix that. That's going to drive me nuts. <laughs> okay, sometimes you just should know when to stop, right? <laughs> okay, there will be some touch-up going on here later. I gotta let it dry so I can touch it up. Okay. Purple. I know. Look, so I think I'm gonna mix these two. Stop ordering stuff. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Purple. Yay. I love this color. Thank you so much. Try this one. I gotta mix them though. Okay. So that was African Violet was the first color and Violet Pansy is the second color. And I'm mixing them just to lighten up 
the African violet just a smidge because I need it to show up on the black when it's dry. But these two together. And I believe Lydia sent this one. Thank you, Lydia, if you're on. I think I saw you on. Okay, so this is basically everything is going to get lined with purple. Now I just need to make up my mind whether I want it inside or outside. I think I'm going to do inside line. Like, so. I can guarantee you there's probably going to be some touch-ups again, but let's see. This just sets it off and makes it to where you can really, really see what's going on on here because with it being black it's really hard to see I can see this purple but I guess you guys can't very very well oh yeah you can I can see it on TV can't see it through my camera though <laughs> I got my big old TV on and my iPad so I can see it somewhere <laughs> oh hey guys I gotta tell you I do believe Julie is liquidating some of her craft supplies uh, so get with her if you're looking for things discounted I don't know what she has and I can't vouch for quality on anything so I'm not saying that you would pass off bad quality but I don't know what she's got is basically what I'm saying anyways get with Julie she's got some stuff and this purple is drying like black so this ain't gonna work holy crazy wow okay we'll just do a lighter one sorry guys that's all right it's thicker anyways it'll go faster Uh oh. Who you hate, Allison? I missed the conversation. <laughs> what well, gossip we talking about? Wow, that's a lot of stuff, Julie. Cool. 
All right, if you guys want to um, talk shop with Julie, PM her. And let's keep the chat open for the painting here. This one, remember, I changed to Violet Pansy, so it'll dry a little bit brighter. I'm hoping anyways. Making a thicker line around the act, the outside skull part. Okay, we're having a big old yard sale here. Never mind. Have a blast. All right, that's the outside line. That wasn't too long, right? Only 40 minutes. <laughs> I promise it will look better. All right. We'll go on the inside. <laughs> Craft Room 2.0. I like it. That's the she should. I know, it looks kind of weird. It will be fine, I promise. Okay, I'll show you guys. The hardest part is trying to figure out where to put the purple. On top, on bottom. I think as long as you just leave some of the gold to accent it, it looks good. It almost makes it look like a neon lit up skull, you know.
<laughs> uh, some of it, you know, I'm having to make just decisions too. Like some of it's going on both top and bottom. Some, some is um, just the top. Like on the teeth here, I'm just going to go around the outside. On the other one, I did in between with the purple, and I didn't like that too much. Hold on. Good night, Julie. Thank you. <laughs> Patience of a saint. See, are you guys thinking maybe split it up? I think so. This one's long and kind of boring. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll probably finish the purple and then uh, save the foiling and all the surprise stuff for another day. Hopefully, Katie can come on. We'll have to try a do a test live maybe tomorrow and then if it works we can do another one <laughs> yes so dr. Biffy here will we'll finish him up tomorrow <laughs> he'll get his happy ending oops I said that <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> oh. 
I don't know about that. I can't trace that. Well, this is a nightmare right here. I still think it looks fine the way it turns out. But when you're doing it, you're like, I'm ruining it. <laughs> I'm totally ruining it. Oh, but it's okay. This purple dries really dark, so <laughs> hopefully we'll be able to see it after it dries. Oh, Lordy, what a mess. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, yes, I started it. I suppose I deserve that. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Jesus. <laughs> what happened to Buffy? <laughs> Buffy got, got a purple highlights. I think it was Biff. <laughs> I got this new stuff too. It's a UV polish and it's um cat's eye polish. It's so cool. You can mess with it with a magnet and it moves the um the metals around. So if it's chrome, it moves it all around in there.
So I was thinking about the eyes. Okay, so for our eyes, is that closer than mine? I'll be touching up that gold too, but not tonight. Let's play. I'm going to move this out of the way. We're going to play with something before. <laughs> Shut up, Nisi. We're going to play with the cat's eye. Yep. Okay, so we're we're gonna look at the stuff that I got. <laughs> oh, I can't even function. You're killing me here. You're killing me, small. So I have it in a gel and in a paint polish paint. Go out of here. The lips. I don't know if I added the UV polish or not on the list. Uh, if I put it in tomorrow, I'll... Hopefully we get to do this again tomorrow. Yeah, there's only 12 of you left, so I'm sure. <laughs> oh, poor Katie. We need us both. We're the duo now. <laughs> okay, so I've got... This one comes with some instructions. It's almost... <laughs> Totally goes. Uh, what's our what's our dude's name? Mr. Biff or Dr. Biff? Clean the nails. Okay, well we're not using nails. <laughs> uh -huh, right. Okay, yeah, we're not. I don't want to follow the directions because I want to do it my way. Yeah, out of here. So there's meet across and homost. We're just going to pick a couple colors and play. Okay, not that one because it's boring. <laughs> okay, couldn't get any more boring than that. <laughs> Let's see, third time's the charm, right? Please be a green or a pink or a red or a blue or a anything but boring. Well, that works. <laughs> that works. All right, watch this business, guys. Okay, first, I'm going to stir it. This is like a red, brown, gold, yummy. Looks like you could almost eat it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to roll that off on the rock. Stop it! <laughs> I ain't saying it. Okay, so we're making we're making a little place here so we can play with the um the metal and the polish. And this is the gel sort. Gosh, that's pretty. Look at that. <laughs> Delia, your paint is still drying. <laughs> I tried to give it to someone else today. I'm sorry. Uh, that was funny. 
Okay, look, this comes, some of these comes with these magnets. They're all kind of different, crazy looking ones. Anyways, there's this one here that does something fun. Watch this. Okay, guys, watch. Pay attention. It's class time now. Right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. It's magic. And then the other side, see that weird thing is like a broom? We're going to sweep the floor. I'm not touching the paint, by the way. Got to go a little slower so it'll move it. Isn't that cool? See, no paint on there. I'm not touching the paint. <laughs> okay, but now watch this business. Okay, these big bad boys. Okay, we're going to move. Watch this move. Do you see it moving? See that? Now we're going to make a cat's eye. So the killerness about this is the eyes that you can make. And then there's these that move it into like make a big circle. Can you see that? So that's like a black hole. Shut up, Nisi. <laughs> so cool. And then there's this one that brings it, I believe, up in the middle. Brings it back in. <laughs> I know. It's terrible. I'm trying to make this. And then we have this one that does little dots, but I think I got to get the. Okay, watch. So it looks all black, right? So the key to making this work is you make your design and then you cure it real fast and then the design is in there. But I think this is so cool. Okay. So let's do... We're going to cure that. And this has a sticky inhibition. Oh, no, it doesn't. Is it no white? Hmm. Edge a sketch. Yeah, me too. Does it reminds me of that too? Yeah, this has an inhibition layer. So if you were doing your nails, you would take an alcohol swab and wipe that off. But I'm going to put another layer on there. Like this. And we're going to make X marks the spot. So we see the one way, right? We're going to bring it. Look. Now watch it move. It's magic, I'm telling you. I don't know the, how this stuff works, but... 
so cool and then you cure it and there you go you've got your business so with the eyes I'm thinking you know the flower thing or the flower tool the one with the balls on it God, this is so bad this one <laughs> So I'm going to try one more thing here. In between uses, make sure you do not hit your pot of gold, this stuff, <laughs> or your brush with that light. Or you won't be able to use it again. So I'm doing a third layer. If you don't cure in between, none of this works. So my... <laughs> Okay, now you take the flowers, the five balls, <laughs> alien thing. My idea was to, it ain't working. Hmm. I was hoping to make a flower in the middle, but that's not going to work. So here, we'll just change our minds. And so we'll have a three-way, a freeway. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was our, our porn class for the night, and uh, that's all, folks. <laughs> okay, so now that that's done, you would put your top coat on and be done. There's so much stuff. I mean, look at these. Um, ouch. Let's see what color is this. Ooh, pretty blue purple. Oh, and it looks green to you. <laughs> How funny. Blue. Look at that shift. Isn't that awesome sauce? <sighs> okay, so I don't know how to make this do what I want it to do, but... <laughs> yeah, that did nothing but move it all to the bottom. All right, we'll make a cat eye, but watch this, because this one's supposed to be, like, two colors. Like, yeah, look. Can you, oh, you can't see it in there. Like, one, see the stripes? There's two of them, one green and one purple. Ain't that cool? Yeah, I'll put a link for these. They were both from Amazon and not too expensive. I think they were both less than 20 for all of the colors. Which is great because sometimes one of these little polishes is 20 by itself, you know, when, when you're working with these specialty ones. All right, I want to play with the flower one more time. That is so cool. I think I want to do that on the eye. I love it. And then I didn't get to play with these little daughters. I don't know what they do, but I think they... Yeah, I don't know. There was one on there that looked like a waffle... 
but I couldn't even imagine what that would do. That'd be perfect for the eyes, huh? Like, look. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing for the eyes. Hello? <laughs> for real, man. That's pretty good. Purple. Kind of weird looking right now, but I will touch up that gold. Okay, guys, so here's the plan. I am going to hop off here and get a hold of Miss Katie, and we will figure out our technical difficulties. Or, you know, I'm not going to say that, because every time I come on here, we have more technical difficulties. So what we're going to do is a test run tomorrow. I'm hoping that it goes okay, and if our test run goes good, we will jump on there. It may not be advertised, so keep an eye out. And if we jump on, it'll probably be at 7.30 p.m. Central. Thank you guys for hanging in there with us and putting up with all this every single time. And if uh, we can find a better way, we will. The problem is if we go like on, um, what's that other one called? Like, you know, the classroom. <laughs> what can't I think? Anyways, the... Anyways, if we go that way, we can only have 50 people, which I know we never have 50 people, but also the recording of it is you can't really record it in a good quality, so we wouldn't be able to post it on Facebook or on YouTube without it being degraded. And I don't want to pay for a service, you know, I don't have an extra hundred a month to pay for an upgraded service to get a better quality. So Zoom, yeah, you got to pay if you want to play on Zoom. So nothing's free. Facebook is our platform that we can do a collab. Um, YouTube, you can't do that. So anyways, if you guys come up with any ideas, definitely let us know. We are accepting technical help. <laughs> okay, guys, have a good evening. Happy Friday. Have a good weekend. It's holiday weekend, Columbus Day, Monday. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow.